Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and I post videos on this channel every single Friday. I post Christian and booktube content, so if you're into that kind of thing, I highly recommend pressing a subscribe. I have recently moved in to a new house in my area and I always love watching videos of people organizing their shelves or reorganizing their shelves, whatever. So I thought I would do my own organizing my bookshelves video. I have been waiting for everyone to be out of the house. So I have this, this whole room to myself. This is basically going to be my studio room. So I'll film all my videos in here. All my books will be in here. And I'm also hoping to like kind of make it a reading nook with the extra space because hopefully these bookshelves are gonna be the background for most of my videos. We'll see. Not sure, I have a couple ideas. But anyway, point of this video is me shelving all of my books. So I should go get them. So I should go get all the boxes of books. <laughs> A note to every book lover out there who buys most of their books, don't move frequently. <laughs> Just don't do it. It's so hard. <laughs> the way I packed all of these boxes was I just basically took the books off the shelves and lined them like I was lining a bookshelf and then I put a couple in the middle. Then I put a piece of packing paper over the top and wrote on it, wrote on a sticky note, what shelves they were on originally so that way when I got here I would just know. I also have all of this on a spreadsheet on Excel but just in case you know I decided to write it down and put it in the box. So for anyone curious, hello Fluffy, my dog has joined us. For anyone curious this bookshelf is shelves A through E, and then these are shelves F through H. So that is how I do it. It just helps me know and understand. So I don't know what is in what box. So this is going to be kind of random. I'm just going to be opening it up and seeing. I adjusted the camera so you can see both of the shelves now, but I'm going to go ahead and crack open this first box. I feel like I'm doing an unboxing, even though these are all. These are all my books. <laughs> First shelves are G and H, so these are mostly my classics and devotion books. buying another bookshelf but I'm about to get there. I'm at the point where if a book is three stars it's not going on the shelf because I just don't have space for it. Um, oh my word. <laughs> there are more books that, that need to be shelved. You are currently sitting on a stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books and then I have probably a dozen books in my physical TBR in my room, but those don't get shelved until they're read. So this whole shelf here can go, like not give away, but um, I will probably within the next year get to the point where these books are not on the shelf because I just won't have space for them and I don't read them. I just keep them there because they remind me of my childhood and the some of the many reasons I got into reading, but sentimentality might have to, um, might have to take a pause when I, as I continue to get more books, but this is, this is what it looks like right now. It's not looking super good, but I, I like it kind of. So as I said, these are my children's books. 
These are most of my classics, and these are some more classics and all of my devotional books. And then this shelf is my pride, or this bookshelf is my pride and joy. These are all of the books I absolutely adore. Well, most of them. They are mostly Christian fiction. So this remains my biblical fiction shelf. I realize y'all can't see me very well. Okay, now that I've readjusted, this is still my biblical fiction shelf. I made this stack right here, all Conlon Cosette. I do have all of her books, um, but I am currently reading them, some of them right now, so I've yet to shelve them. Then I had to move some biblical fiction down here, uh, and then this is all of my historical fiction going through the 1850s and then this is all of my World War II fiction and then some uh, Francine Rivers books. I couldn't fit Redeeming Love on the 1850s shelf. That's sad. <laughs> then this is all of my contemporary fiction and then the bottom shelf is where I put my nonfiction. We can all tell how much I really love nonfiction by its placement. <laughs> and then this hutch right here has three drawers as on its like base so there are only three shelves to put books on so in one of those drawers I'm just putting the books that I do not deem worthy enough to go on my shelves and in the other or the top drawer is all of the decorations and bookends for these shelves so that's one of my favorite parts <laughs> so let's get decorating <laughs> it I am not in love with it but you know I change my bookshelves around so often when I'm adding new books that I'm sure I will come to love it like this shelf is not complete because I have plenty more books that need to be shelved but haven't been added to my catalog because I catalog all of my books so this is what it looks like I'll stand out of the way you can't see the bottom shelf, but that's fine. There's nonfiction on the bottom shelf. It's nothing important. Yeah, so I kind of already gave you the tour of all of the genres. I added all of the decorations that I kind of like. I kind of like most of them. Yeah, these are my shelves. Let me know if you have any like recommendations for how to make them look better. I tried to string some like Christmas lights around them, but it just wasn't working and I did not like the way it looked at all. So if you have any help with that, the outlets are a little funny behind here. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and suggestions. Um, these will be changing. You will see them if you continue to watch my videos. These will be in the background and they will continue changing, you know, all the time basically because I'm always getting new books and I have Oh, at least two dozen more books that need to be read and shelved. So yeah, I'm thinking in the future I will do a video on how I catalog and then shelve my books, like how I just, how that whole process works because I do have a process with it. That could be a little short video in the future. Let me know if you want that. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like and if you want more content like this similar to this go ahead and subscribe and i will see you next week for whatever video that is until then bye